Red Film Radio, this is Kiana Nicoletti from the 19th edition of Zurich Film Festival and with Ethan Oak, who is here to present Wildcat. So, since I was telling you last time we saw each other, it was the first performed in Venice and I remember Paul Shedder saying that it was his film about spiritual life. So since to quote Cameron Bailey from Tiff, Flannery is struggling to understand God's purposes, I was wondering, could we say that White Cat is your film about spiritual life? For sure. I mean, um, Paul Schrader and I come at it from a different, you know, life experience. Um, but I loved making First Reformed with him and uh, it was exciting to be with a great artist who was trying to express something that was so personal and um, sacred to him. And I had a kind of realization shortly after that film, I turned 50 and um, was incredibly depressed that I had never taken you know, for lack of a better word, a spiritual life, an inner life, a, whatever you call that. When I was young, it was so important to me. And I'd never taken it past first base. And I, or I was 50 years old and I felt like, how did this happen? How have I not a, applied that part of my life more seriously? And then I had, it came on me like a lightning bolt that I, that I had expressed it through my acting, that my inner life that I wasn't on first base. I'd spent 30 years seeking and talking about faith and working on it, but I'd done it th through being a performing artist. And that that made me feel a lot better. And then Maya had this idea to make a movie about Flannery O'Connor, and I, I saw in that a possibility to talk about something I really wanted to talk about, which was, is human creativity an act of faith? And one of the things that I love about her is she was an extremely devout, serious woman uh, whose faith was manifest in her work in such a beautiful way that she seemed the perfect launching point for this conversation. Uh, talking about, we were talking about Venice before, and uh, I, I met Richard Lee Glater uh, this year, Friedman, and I was telling him how cinema is a team effort and uh, among his best films are the ones that he kind of shared with other artists like you, for example. So, and in the case of White Cat, uh, how would you say that uh, sharing this vision with Maya and their own perception and vision on Flannery made a difference? Well, it is true that the joy of making movies is the collaboration. Um, part of my job as a director was simply to channel Maya's passion, her intelligence and her grace and um, her dedication into to, to, to channel, channel that. Um, but also the same is true for Laura Linney and Steve Cousins and my wife is my producer and you start, you feel all these people caring and their their care is so inspiring to honor that you know and and their imagination begins to fill your holes and the whole thing the yeast rises so to speak uh, and we've been talking to Ethan Ock, director of Y Cat screening at the Zurich Film Festival in special screenings and this is Kiara Nicoletti for Fred the Festival Insider